is racing one mile, a purse of $2,000. Number one is Arnie Starr, owned by Jim Pickett, chair of Cincinnati, Eric Lundford Drives. Number two, Menacing, owned by Clarence Long and Melissa Hawk of Ohio for Dave Hawk. Number three, Crown Time Discovery, owned by Esther Crown of MacArthur, Ryan Holton Drives. The four, CR Seminole Sister, owned by Rod Allen of Ocala, Florida, Carl Allen Driving. Number five, SA, owned by Don Bolliard of Greenville with Jeff Bolliard. Number six, Sycamore Ace, sold by Barbara Turcott of Coconut Creek, Florida, Mel Turcott with the lines. Seven is Lady Impatient, with the Three Horsemen Stables of Lexington for Brent Holland. And number eight, Fagan Dart, held into it by Roger Lovett of Jeffersonville. Wouldn't play show perfect up. It's the first leg of the pick three. Post time in eight minutes, eight minutes until post. They're off and uh, trotting, and it's Arnie Starr from off the rail, menacing alongside. Came away second, Crown Time Discovery is third. CR Seminole Sister from between horses. From mid-track, it's SA. Off stride is Crown Time Discovery. The three is on a break, leaving as they round the upper turn. Arnie Starr is also on a break on the front end, catching right back again quickly, but going off stride, he's having trouble here as they approach the first quarter mile marker, and Menacing will move up quickly now to take the lead, and Arnie Starr lost that seat, is now looking for a hole on the inside as they reach the first quarter, 29 and four. See our Seminole sister. Now the garden spot trip is second. Arnie Star right back trotting third. Essay follows fourth. Inside five to Sycamore Ace along the rail and gapping sixth. Lady impatient. The outside seventh comes Fagan Dart and the trailer is Crown Time Discovery. Into the clubhouse turn as the two menacing with a lead here, leading by two lengths. CR Seminole Sister, a patient second. Here comes Sycamore Ace, moving first up on the outside, racing third. Arnie Starr again on a break, right back trotting, half and one, oh, one and three. Off the turn and down the back stretch with Menacing. Five to two shot here, leads by two and a half, three lengths. CR Seminole Sister is still in the pocket, second. Sycamore Race continues to be parked to the outside and covered third. Arnie Starr is right back into contention again, fourth. And three wide to the outside. Here comes Fagan Dart. And between horses, it's SA. Pace quickens now as they approach the three quarter mile marker. Menacing with the lead. Only a neck. CR Seminole Sister right there to take the lead now as they reach the three quarters in 132. And CR Seminole Sister coming in from Hoosier Park. She takes the lead away from Menacing. These two continue to slug it out now as they turn for home. They've lost it an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. It's the two year old filly, CR Seminole Sister, striding out here, opening up by four. Inside is Menacing. Then comes Sycamore Race and SA. It's CR Seminole Sister in record time. Tonight's second race trophy by K95.5 FM. And uh, making the presentation, the morning DJ at K95.5, Jeff Hunter. Well, tracks on is the unofficial winner of race two, number four, CR Seminole Sister. Just a two-year-old daughter of Royal Chubador from country Janine by Neville Pride. Well, by Rod Allen of Camel, Florida, Carl Allen, the uh, trainer and driver. Her second career win this evening, giving her a new lifetime mark, 201 and four fifths. See our Seminole sister coming in from the Grand Circuit from Hoosier Park. She had incidentally a stablemate to the very fast and exciting world champion CRK Susie. And the second race now official. 4-2 Perfecta paying $10.40, 10 dollars 40 10 40 The daily double 4 4 $14.40, 14 40 Well, let's go track side now as we continue the drawings for this evening. And directly after the drawings, I'll give you the complete. All right, thank you. Please listen for your name. If we announce it, come down and bring some identification with you. E. Weaver.